Hi everyone, today we take a look back at Chemical Plant Zone. This is where things started getting fun. There weren't too many problems with this production, it was more about getting the level to look right and raising certain areas and that sort of thing. The idea was to get Sonic to pass through the tubes like it does in the game. I used sheets of clear plastic to make it like he's going through the pipes, and also I tried to light it as best I could in order to get glare on the plastic to make it look like it's there, because if you don't light it right, it doesn't look like it's there and there's no point. Although it looks quite simple just moving a little ball around like some plastic pipes, it is a bit tricky because sometimes he can kind of come out of it and you just don't want that, it just takes you out the whole illusion. I got various close-up shots and him going around corners and that sort of thing and once I got enough I called it a day. I suppose there's nothing much left to say about this now. Oh, I did have this area here that I raised up which uh, really looked quite cool but it was tricky to get the shot there going around the corner I must say. Oh yeah, this bit was a bit tricky, going around the cardboard like that. The slightest knock can really ruin the shot. Oh look, there I am. I'm having fun. Hey hey! Oh, and last but not least is the infamous loop the loop. Um, I just raised up a bit of card for this and filmed going around it and I'll superimpose it going in. So, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you tomorrow. Just a shout out to my patrons, the Soldiers of Cardboard, and also the Captains of Cardboard, Andrew Reisikos, Michael Heinisch, Ricardo, Ryan Bean, Paul Keward, Luke Cummings, and Mecha Master. And also, we have the Commander of Cardboard, Flying Torpedo Whale. And finally, the Gods of Cardboard, Me Machine Dean, and Michael Seguero. Thank you so much.